This man seems to like being on camera, as long as he's taking selfies. He won't much like these photos. They were taken by police. They capture a remarkable moment, precisely when he's panicking because he can't find a big bag of meth he buried in the woods the night before. Worse still, it wasn't his bag to lose. He was hiding it for a crime syndicate, including a member of the Hells Angels. What he didn't know then, but he certainly knows now, is shortly before the bag had been recovered by police who were watching closely for whoever came to get it. And the cops had also already busted the biker, allegedly found digging in the park to retrieve another stash. The mob reporter here with news of a curious gangland mule, a courier caught red-handed, dazed and confused on camera, and with a shovel and dirty gardening gloves. He was part mole man, part bag man. Let me tell you about it. Christian Tachev, 25, worked at a vape store in Perth, Australia, and as a personal trainer, but he still found time to work as a courier. His client, though, was a crime syndicate, and the goods he was moving were meth and money. This week, Tachev was sent to prison, but before we get there, here he is a few years ago after his vape store was robbed, complaining, of all things, about people under the influence. Obviously under the influence, probably meth or something. Tachev was sent GPS coordinates for secluded spots in rustic parks where he would go and variously bury and dig up duffel bags at least some of those times, allegedly at the behest of a member of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. The Australian Federal Police figured he was burying dope and then delivering it by digging it back up and burying some of it elsewhere for a client to unbury on their own. He was put under close surveillance. Here's how it all went down. On March 18, 2021, investigators watched him drive to a wooded area in Queen's Park, a suburb of Perth in Western Australia. There, he wandered into a private area of scrub, carrying an empty blue bag. When he emerged, the bag looked full. He then took that stuffed bag into the bush in Edgewater, a suburb on the other side of Perth. He returned to his car without the bag. Later that day, as police watched, an other man walked into the Edgewater bush, got down and dug with his hands through a patch of sandy dirt that had been covered with a tree branch, police say. A large cloth duffel bag was pulled from the ground. As the man walked away with the bag, police moved in, and here's that man under arrest. Police say the 53-year-old man was a senior Hells Angels member, and inside the bag, police allege, were several sealed bags of white crystals. Testing showed it to be 10 kilos of meth. Investigators then retraced Tachev's earlier trip to the Queen's Park woods and searched the bush. There, they dug up a duffel bag containing five kilos of meth, buried in a shallow hole. This is video of the retrieval. Officers removed the stash, but placed the spot under surveillance. I suspect they put up trail cams, usually used to take photos of wildlife. What they caught the next day was pictures of a different kind of beast. Tachev returning for his stash. He couldn't find it because it wasn't there. For 25 minutes, he foraged around, digging here and there, trying to figure out what was going on, wearing his gardening gloves for digging. He left empty-handed. Maybe he thought he'd been robbed, like he once experienced at his vape store. Thankfully, that idiot that robbed us didn't see the camera right there. So, we're going to be posting that video footage out. Oh, the irony. Three weeks later, Tachev found it was even worse. Here's Tachev being arrested on April 6th, 2021, a video he's unlikely to post on his social media. He was arrested after police watched him leave another bush site. When officers searched his car, they found he had $17,355 in cash inside a black backpack along with a shovel and gardening gloves that were still covered in sand. Police say he had just retrieved the cash by digging it up in a park. Police estimate Tachev's loads had a street value of as much as 15 million Australian dollars. That's more than 11 million US dollars. 
He went on to plead guilty to trafficking and proceeds of crime, while the biker remains before the court, disputing the charges and allegations against him. On April 6, 2022, precisely one year after his arrest, Tachev was sentenced to 11 years in prison, which seems like an okay deal if you consider he was facing a maximum life sentence. Only now, according to the local papers, he's fearful of the syndicate he worked for. Please join me on Patreon for exclusive perks and bonus content. It's at patreon.com/slash the mob reporter. Thanks for watching.